I'm dead! Makoto, Chloe, Adi. Like the rainbow you see before us, you must become a bridge. A bridge to the future. Oh, come on, please, please. Oh, do you have an off switch, kid? Tony, think about it. I could be just like you. It's Mr. Huh? Stark. <clears throat> if I had sweet armor like yours, I'd be unstoppable. Makoto, you just learned that powerful new technique in Kanlan, didn't you? <clears throat> I want more than that. Like, kablam, I'd catch him off guard with a turbo boosted right hook. So what do you say, Tony? Not gonna happen. Come on, why not? Enough. Why, though? My armor is not a toy. Who said anything about it being a toy? <sighs> I just figured if you made me some armor, I could be more helpful around here. <sighs> Unbelievable. He's such a cheapskate. Tony's anything but cheap. The Iron Man armor is more than just a weapon. That armor also helps keep Tony alive. Wait, what? How do you mean? His armor is a big part of him. Without it, Tony's life could be in real danger. I still don't understand. Well... Long before Tony donned the Iron Man armor, he was a renowned businessman who traveled the world. On a trip gone wrong, Tony was severely wounded and kidnapped in an ambush led by local terrorists. The blast left shrapnel in his chest, centimeters from his heart. One wrong move could have been fatal. He couldn't get the metal out, so Tony developed a magnetic arc reactor and installed it in his chest. On that day, Iron Man was born. I had no idea. So his butt-kicking armor also saved his butt and he still won't build me one? This again? You see, that just proves my point. <laughs> the boy never seems to give up, does he? Hmm. Heroes are expected to be super strong. Otherwise, how else are we going to protect people in need? You have a point. We must uh. continue training to build our strength. <laughs> Show the baddies who's boss. What about you, Audie? Uh, what kind of hero do you want to be? Well, I... Man, I don't know. Good question. Huh? Heroes, huh? Am I... a hero? Things that I've done. No, I'm no hero. Uh, it's open. Come in. Captain America? Hey, you got a few minutes? Yeah, of course. Good. I noticed you seemed a bit rattled back there. Anything you want to talk about? I don't know if you'd understand. Well, I've seen a lot over the past hundred years. It's just, you Avengers are great. I mean, you guys are real heroes. 
I'm not. I don't know if I'm hero material. Hmm? Listen, Audi. Huh. What's going on? Friday? The local TV station is under attack. By who? Is that? Ironmonger. I expected more security in a place like this. Doesn't anyone care about live television anymore? <sighs> this is a message for the Merchant of Death, Tony Stark. Merchant of <gasps> Death? Your day has come. It's time for you to pay for your crimes, Tony. <sighs> you have one day to hand yourself over. I'll be waiting. And come alone. Leave your little friends out of this. Oh man, this is gonna be epic! It's an old-fashioned heavyweight challenge! What deception is this? Obadiah Stane is supposed to be locked up in prison. Tony personally made certain that dude wasn't getting out anytime soon. There's no report of a prison breakout. So who's in the Ironmonger armor? Ezekiel. Huh? He's Obadiah's son. The kid holds a personal grudge. So he came here to avenge his dad. <sighs> Tony, you know it's a trap, don't you? You don't have to do this. Ah, oh, come on, don't worry about it. I don't have time to resolve this little brat's daddy issues anyway. <clears throat> Ironmonger really put Tony on edge. What did he mean by pay for your crimes? Sounds serious. And why did he call him the Merchant of Death? Bad guys say crazy stuff all the time. Tony is a superhero. Fisco, run a search for Tony Stark's history. Okie dokie. It looks like it's mostly news about Iron Man saving people. See, I told you. Tony is one of the good guys. Wait. What's that say? Record profits for Stark International in weapons trade and development? What? That can't be right. These articles are pretty old. But even so, if what they're saying is true, before Tony became Iron Man, he was an infamous weapons trader. A true merchant of death. So you think you're a hero now, Stark? Have you forgotten? Have you forgot all the lives you sold just to make a profit? I haven't forgotten! All the things you've done, I'll never forget. Technical act. Let's see who you really are. Find anything interesting? Uh, uh, I'm not a fan of people sneaking around my facility. If you've got something to ask me, now's your time, kid. I tell you, it's a lot easier than hacking my archive. Okay. Were you really a weapons trader? I found reports saying you sold your weapons to the highest bidder, regardless of what would happen to those on the receiving end. Tell me, is it true? Yes. Once you've read about me, it's no secret. But how? How can someone with a past like that be an Avenger? How can anyone trust you after the things you've done? A history like that makes you seem worse than most villains. What makes you think you're a hero? Beats me, kid. What? Story time's over for the night. Go to bed. Uh, uh. 
<laughs> Slow down or you'll choke. I need to. My aerial act burns up too many calories. You gonna finish that toast? Well, go ahead and help yourself, why don't ya? It is good to see them in such high spirits. It is. But I'm a little concerned about Adi. Yeah, he hasn't eaten today. That's not good. You think something might be wrong with the kid, Cap? Well, something's bothering him. I think he's working through some personal issues. What do you think it is? Trauma? Well, once I find out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Maybe the answer to this mystery is he just isn't hungry. Right on time. What's the matter, Tony? Too ashamed to show yourself? <sighs> Tony. <sighs> I figured maybe your guilt would have forced you out of hiding, coward. Maybe seeing the consequences of your actions will help motivate you. Hit the cameras! Huh? What do you think he means by that? What is he up to? If you won't come and face me, I'll just give this city a classic Stark Industries welcome. <clears throat> Don't keep me waiting. <clears throat> Tony! I'll be back. Don't wait up. <clears throat> Mr. Stark. He's gonna need backup. Agreed. Avengers, assemble! You go protect the civilians. Get them clear. Right. <laughs> Let's get going, Adi. Uh, yeah. <sighs> there are nicer ways to get my attention. Singing telegram, maybe? Seems you haven't lost your edge. But you're using outdated tech. What? You can't even begin to imagine how long I've waited for this moment, Stark. Where did you get that armor? You took my father from me, and you locked him away! Like he was some disgusting common criminal! Your father is a criminal, Ezekiel. It takes one to know one, doesn't it? Your hypocrisy knows no bounds. It's time that you answer for all the pain that you've caused! Everyone stay calm! We're here to help! This way, quickly! Aerial Act, Type 10! Bind! Nice catch! Hurry up! Clear out! Okay! Nicely done, Makoto. Adi, let's go. Um, right. How do you like my new suit? It's based on my father's design, with some of my own modest improvements. <laughs> it's nothing more than a cheap imitation of my design. <laughs> nothing beats the original! <laughs> I've analyzed your fighting patterns. <laughs> I can predict your every move. Adi, you okay? You don't look so good. No, it's nothing. <gasps> the gas main just blew!
Adi, no, wait! We'll handle it! Call that a punch? <laughs> Come on, Tony, got anything new? Give it up. You've lost. I've spent years studying your tactics. The data I collected and programmed into this suit will counter your every move. No matter how hard you try, you will never beat this armor. Uh, uh, uh. Audie! Goodbye, Tony. Uh, help me! <laughs> I can't lift it up! The fire is getting closer! What's the matter? Are your repulsors broken? Yeah, well, I was a bit preoccupied. That was brave of you, Audie. I couldn't just leave her. Now get her out of here. It's still not safe. Uh, huh? right. right. Hmm. I guess you didn't calculate for any variables in your programming. How are you still standing? It's called being a hero. How dare you call yourself a hero? My father was imprisoned for doing the very thing you built a fortune on. Who gives you the right to be praised as a hero? Your crimes are no different. So why aren't you locked in a cell next to him? Everything you stand for is a lie! Technical act. Adi, no! Stay out of this one. But why? This is a fight I have to win myself. How honorable of you. Let's make this quick. I couldn't agree more! Ah! Ezekiel, I don't blame you for hating me. What? Your reasons are understandable. And you're right about my past. There's no taking back the damage I've done. That's right. I'll carry those regrets with me for the rest of my life. I can't erase them. But I won't let them define me! <laughs> you keep being so predictable, Tony Stark! What? He dodged? The only things you've studied are the mistakes of my past! Get a beam! Impossible! How did you do this?! Learning from our mistakes, that's what defines us. Friday, remind me never to use the Unibeam in such close proximity again. <coughs> Did you guys see when I used my bind technique? The billboard was all guam! Yeah, and... we get it. You're so cool. But you know, maybe if I'd been given some special armor, we wouldn't have gotten into that mess. Hey, Tony? Uh, wait. Where's Tony? Huh? Adi's not here either. <sighs> Mr. Stark. 
Hmm? Hey there, Audie. How's it going? Mr. Stark, do you remember what I asked you? If you spent most of your life doing things you wish you hadn't, then what makes you think you can still be a hero? Audie, you can't change your past. Don't worry, because as it happens, you can choose your future. Hey there. I was wondering if you were going to join us for dinner. Captain. Do you think... I could really become a hero? Hey, when you saw that girl in trouble, you risked your life to save hers, and I consider that to be pretty heroic. change your past, but you can choose your future. That's Iron Man's wisdom for you. You'd only hear such words from true heroes. But our next guest has no patience for things like wisdom. This out of control, unpredictable wild card is named Deadpool. The Avengers may not be thrilled with his appearance, but it's certain to be a wild episode you don't want to miss. The next episode of Marvel's Future Avengers. Here comes Deadpool. Catch the future, Avengers.